How's it going, everybody? This Ooh, is the baby. Uncanny Omar with New Warriors Omnibus Volume 2, which is replacing Melanie, so she is not allowed to talk. Her only job is to hold up that beautiful book. That's right. Happy Saturday. What day is this? False. What? <laughs> Today is Saturday, November? Oh my gosh, November. November 5th. But that's why a part works comics reader was saying, remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason the gunpowder treason should ever be forgotten. You know what that's from? <sighs> Your mom. How old are you? <laughs> be for Vendetta. Josh is saying, throw the book. Really, Josh? <laughs> Look, it's not even open yet. Ooh. Look, everybody remembers apparently where it's from. Omar's <laughs> existential purpose has finally been fulfilled. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm done now. You ended up marrying an omnibus. That's it. I'm out. Your mom, Melanie. Your mom's <laughs> actually our daughters. Who else is spending Saturday reviewing purchase contracts? Just me, okay. Oh. Purchase contracts. Is that what you do? New Warriors Volume 2, it's here, folks. It's almost here. It's almost here. When does the new Aliens Omnis come out? Volume 3. I believe that is the last week of November. Uh, last week of November 4, I think, has been pushed until February, I believe. Uh, the only one I didn't get, mine got lost in the mail, was Invaders Volume 1. So I'm supposed to get another one. New Warriors Volume 2 serve as <laughs> night. Who is Cody Summers and why is, am I shunning him? Yeah. Oh, well, well, he's leaving. He's going to go watch. Uh, That's Wolf Cody Owens, not oh. Cody Summers. Oh, my gosh. You just <laughs> literally clicked on his names. How? Uh, going to see the new One Piece. Uh, well, have fun watching One Piece if you're still uh, watching. Is that a reprint? Which one? Mr. Tex. Uh, new Warriors. Anyway. No, that is the brand new New Warriors. And it means a lot to me because I had a... Uh, I had like five goals when I started talking to Marvel Comics, and that was one of the goals was get that book made. And here it finally is. It was supposed to come out, oh my goodness, February of this year. Delays, man, they've hurt. But now things are getting back to norm, I guess, if you will. Well, how about we did have you a guys... super chat, didn't we? From oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I Kevin. And um, you guys let super us know sticker. where you all are from um, before we get to that spider again. What? No. I don't, why would you, <laughs> people are asking. People want to know. I, Kevin, I just, so I just literally got it open. What is wrong with you? Because <laughs> he got it. Was it last night? Yeah, I was more excited about New Warriors uh, too. I just <laughs> no, I got it two days, two two days ago maybe. It was right after I was done moving shelves down here. Uh, where is it? Okay, well that's the question. Mark Zimmer, how's hey, it going? Guys, Buzz? We'll get to that later. What's up, man? How are you, brother? What day of the week is the Long Shot Gallery Edition announcement? <laughs> nice. Well played. I He's don't know. He's a good guy. Oh, yeah? Just, just want to say. He's a good guy? Jo Who is? I know Omnibo is a good guy. About, about to go to bed. Mm -hmm. He's okay. Gets the notification of NNC is live. Okay, I'll stay up a few minutes. Mash that like button. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. Um... Morning, Omar and Melanie. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. And New Jersey. New oh, I guess this is going to do some squats while holding the Avengers versus X Men uh, Omni. Oh, okay. Hey, I am here. here. What's up, Bart? <laughs> How are you? Jeffrey's uh, here. That Avengers versus X Men is thicker than a snicker. Yes, sir, it is. It's a thick book. So, Spider Gwen and also Captain Marvel DM cover? Uh, yes, that's she's back there. That's the uh, Kelly Sue the Conic. I love this cover, by the way. I like the design of it. Yeah, um, it's very classy. Yeah, I didn't know which one, but I, I like um, uh, what's his name's artwork, McKavy, Jamie McKelvey's artwork. Uh, so I didn't know which cover to go for, but I was like, ah, let's go with this one. But I like the design of the book overall. How many of my goals have I met? Three, three, three so far. Three so far. It's been great. I have goals for DC too, but so far, z half a half out of five there. What day of the week is Jack Monroe Nomad on the announcement? Um, <laughs> well, uh, spoilers, no, no day of the week, no day of the week. Maybe a complete collection, or I'm sorry, an epic collection one day. Oklahoma is okay. 
Hi, Han DeLorean. What's up, buddy? How are you? Going to a mini toy and comic show. I'm going to listen in as I head over. Have uh, fun. Dude, have fun. And uh, find some treasures. Please call him Pan. You are the Pan. That's the robot from uh, Laputa, Castle in the Sky. I know I have some Latino listeners in here and some Spanish speakers. When I say Laputa, I mean the the, the cartoon. Studio Ghibli. Okay, <laughs> Chili here in North uh, Fourth War Fort Worth, dude. How's the car? How's the wife? How's everything going? Hey, Torsten. Okay. What's up, buddy? What? No. No. Uh, yeah, we're okay. gonna wait until more people get here, oh, so oh, then I don't okay. get asked over wait. and over and over. Oh, I see. Thank you for explaining. We're gonna wait. Yeah, so I have to do this. Join, I have to do this uh, to, to show it. Spider Gaddy. Explaining um, it. Well, let's get um some questions. <laughs> see, I told you, Laputa. Isn't this the Saturday live stream? That's the name. I didn't come up with it. And we actually uh. Got our picture taken at the Studio Ghibli Museum in... Hugging that robot. Or yep, at least I was Japan. hugging it. Where's the Hickvengers like Avengers New Avengers? <laughs> Where's the Hickvens Hick Avengers New Avengers, 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 Avengers Omni reprint? Uh, January, I believe it's when it slipped to. Jan I believe that one slipped into January. What day is the Rucka? That has a better chance than Jack Monroe's... Nomad. Big stew, big high, big stew. How are you? No amazing Spider Man omnibus volume six. No, when did we get five? It's usually about two or three years in between those volumes. So, whenever we got five, um, add two to three years after that. Yes, big Conan news. Um, so yeah, for those of you that are aware, there was a big Conan news from Titan Comics announcing that they were going to continue the savage sort of Conan with uh. Volume number nine. So, uh, you know, we were still like, okay, does that mean there's reprints coming? And I've been talking to them, and they're really good. My, my contact over there, Will, is, is awesome. Uh, but, you know, they can't go into details yet. However, Corey Settlemeyer, uh, who is one of my favorite collected editions uh, people that work on these books, uh, you know, he does a uh, restoration. He's in charge of all that for like X-Men, like classic uncanny X-Men. And he does the mapping for that stuff. But he was the one in charge of also Conan. Uh, he wrote in the Marvel Masterworks forum that he is now going to be in charge of the new Titan Comics uh, Conan collections, including the Marvel stuff. And they're going to go back to print with some of the stuff that's been out of print. So for the people that missed out on Savage Sword of Conan, he said even the spines are going to look like the Marvel spines with the exception of the Titan logo will replace the Marvel logo. I don't know of a single Titan book though, that uses a curved spine. Most of the ones, actually all the ones I own have a flat spine. So maybe they'll use a different printer for that. But regardless, it is really good news for the people that have been enjoying Conan and want it more. So I'm excited. You're excited. Corey's excited to be working on it still. So I think it's good because it's definitely a labor of love and how many they pumped out when they lost the license. It was just amazing. So I'm glad they are continuing that program. Old Elmer Elm Tree. Uh, good morning. I'm crestfallen. By the crestfallen. Of the Tomb of wow. Collection, volume six. What up with that? What? <laughs> How are you going to use crestfallen and then what up with like that? It. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it will be back in the catalog. Maybe they went back and added more things to it. Sometimes that happens. Paul, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat and the hard questions to answer. Why do Marvel and DC hate Demetrius? Well, no, that's not true. I mean, he's got um, Justice League International, Volumes 1 and 2. Um, the, you know, he's got a Craven's Last Hunt. And maybe there might be a gallery edition for Craven's Last Hunt one day. Uh, no spectacular Spider-Man collector's edition. No, no, not his, not his stuff. No, and no uh, collector's editions of Inspector Doctor Fate. So you were talking specifically uh, runs per JM. Is the Beyonder involved somehow? <laughs> yes, the personification of the Beyonder is definitely involved with his chest out shirt. That would be a smart move. Most printers can do either. I think they realize how big Conan. Oh, absolutely. The fandom for Conan is in, is huge. So, and this is a big deal for Titan, right? I mean, they own 
they own a lot of good properties, but nothing that's really put them on the map, at least here in America. And now, now that they have Conan, there, I mean, it's going to be huge for them. And I'm really happy for them. They're, 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 the folks that work there are wonderful. Did this guy jump ship from Marvel? No, no, no. I think he's just uh, working with them. I don't. I think he's still working with Marvel Comics. Sounds like everything we wanted to hear. My only question is, will they still do the articles and stuff? My question and FedEx was, will they still do the introductions? By I mean, we have Roy Thomas. The man is a living legend. And this is going to sound a little morbid, but I, I don't know how to word this without sounding morbid. But while he's still here with us, Get him the right introductions for all your books. I mean, that would be great. Um, and I know he came back for Conan, uh, and then he 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 was still doing Savage Sword. Uh, but get him, you know, while he's still here. Yeah, I think he's he's in his eighties. Corey said he's been freelance for ten years. He will still be working with Marvel as long as they want him. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, while we still have this living legend with us, you know, get him to write all these intros because the man can write. You all. For anybody that has read his Conan books, I mean, he doesn't write like a page of intro. This was Conan when I was writing Conan. I remember this page. It was good. Fun times. Love Roy Thomas. No, it's detail like the feuds behind the scenes. John Buscema did not like this particular inker. We lost this page. We think we lost it, quote unquote. I think it was stolen. Oh my gosh, there was so much drama. I love it. And then going behind the scenes of these stories, are he is a national treasure. Does Titan still have the Robotech license? I believe they do, yeah, because they have the trade paperbacks for those. I know they have Elric, um, and of course, uh, oh man, the big one that I liked was uh, Snowpiercer. That's that's huge. I wish they could keep doing the big Elric books, though. Roy Thomas is literally the best link we have uh, to it. Melanie, was the English word there? Anecdotal. Anecdotal? That's the way I would have said it. Good Info job. going back to the Silver Age. Absolutely. And, you know, he's, my goodness. Because when you get to be a certain age, it, it gets to be difficult to think <laughs> of uh, words. Omar, would you ever make trade paperback videos for DC? I would love to. But, uh, so there, okay, so people do ask me that. Like, why do I do Marvel trade paperbacks and not DC? Uh, two reasons. Uh, one, of course, budgetary reasons. This is what I do for a living. Um, and... I have to make sure I spend my money on videos that I, I know people want to see most. Two, uh, they don't. So I guess there's three reasons. Uh, two, they don't send me anything. Uh, they they used to, but then there was a shift in positions and uh, they haven't sent me anything for two years. Uh, three, they don't release that many. As a matter of fact, like you go some weeks with DC not releasing a single trade paperback compared to Marvel. So that that's those are the main reasons why. It's insane to me that comics were always just a job to Busema when he was one of the greatest. Oh, dude, right? I had no idea that he did not like drawing superheroes. I I, I love his Avengers. I love his uh, Wolverine. I had no idea the man hated drawing. Like Conan was where he wanted to be. Melanie and Omar, question for you guys. Have you read Angel and Faith Season 9? It's a great follow-up to Angel, the I series. Haven't. No. But I liked Buffy. Season 9, but Angel he ended in Season 5. Well... Uh, so we miss we have not read the comics right it's six the, yeah, yeah. The, the seasons i love that they changed it to faith though i love faith um, okay so i'll tell you later big stew in orlando i swear what's up bad wolf comics how are you brother who's getting the transformers ip what is missing for the idw ohcs as far as phase three goes a lot we got about three more books and as far as who's getting it all the creators and the publishers know. They just haven't made an announcement yet. Um, I think they're waiting on Hasbro to make a big deal about it. Because remember, oh, what's up? Hi, uh, Hayden. Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, buddy. Um, I think it's, since Hasbro is the license holder for the toys, uh, even if it's comics or movies, they have to abide by what Hasbro has planned. So if Hasbro has something planned to release, they have to wait for that. But I just made my first totally authentic spaghetti carbonara, eating it right now. Good job. S super send that's our way. Today on November 5th, <laughs> please explain why you don't like Epic Masterpiece. That is why, why Torsten, this is a positive, honest community. Yeah. Can, we, can we focus on the positive? 
Yo, can I see the under the sp yes, yes. I will I promise uh I'm just waiting for more people to trickle in so I don't have to keep uh holding up the Spider-Verse book uh the entire time. I did get it out of its plastic because I figured people would be asking me about it today. Fingers crossed. Even the even even a little better mapping would be better than what we used to have. Omar, do you know if we're getting a reprint of Amazing Spider-Man Epic Collection Volume 2? Oh my goodness, I have announced so many. I do have another announcement though. But that will be for tomorrow. Unless you're our Patreon. That will be tonight. Uh, it's about a Marvel Omnibus reprint. Uh, Which it's, tier on Patreon? That's tier. a $5 tier. So you can go and talk about it on our five Discord server. And that's where the spoiler talk is going on. Those cats are cool, man. I, I chime in there from time to time. But I can't remember Volume 2. Is, I know Volume 3 is. Uh, if you give me a few seconds, I will let you know. Where it is. Oh my gosh. Uh, hmm. Somebody's asking what we're reading this week. I read Venom by Michelin. Oh my gosh, so many. Yes. Heart of the Hunted. Eee! And I think that's the only comic though I read. I'm reading Terry Pratchett and Neil Game is Good Omens because I never read it before and I really like it. And I'm listening to summaries, detailed summaries of. John Milton's Paradise Lost and Dante's Inferno by Windigoon. It's really good. <laughs> by Windigoon. Yeah. By Who did not write those books? He did not write oh, those books. I said summaries of Dante's Inferno and Milton's Paradise. Wait, Lost. is it the new Cliff Notes? All right. Uh, for me, oh my gosh, I just went through a stack of trade paperbacks from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, I am currently reading some of the Incal, not all of it, to do a proper video on it. Uh, reading the. Oh my goodness, the Star Wars. I'm back to the Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. And I am going through some of the Transformers comics uh, to get that video out this month, part one. Probably the Marvel years of the Transformers reading order. Yeah. Thank you for asking, uh, dude. Thank you for the super chat, Atomic Hound. Other than a comp copy, when do you make the call to upgrade to a new printing of an Omni? Been enjoying the comparison videos. Thank you so much. Um... Well, now this is now since this is my full time job, I get yeah, I I buy Omnis to do comparisons to, uh, like Wonder Woman and New Teen Times. I purchased those; those were not sent to me, so I do it because it's my job. And again, you know, those books aren't cheap; they're a hundred bucks. So I do it to make a video, and then I end up giving away the other book uh, for a giveaway sometime. So even tax write offs aren't that good. I'll tell you that much, but let me see. So if I wasn't doing this for a living, when would I upgrade? Let me tell you right now, Atomic Hound, dead serious. If it had the words Uncanny X-Men, you, you remember, I think I've, I mentioned this before. You know how they mentioned that we're going to get an Uncanny X-Men volume six, right? And in my head, I'm like, I don't need volume six. I got the Mutant Massacre and I got volume five. But if they add eight issues of Marvel Comics Presents in there that have never been collected in oversized format, it's got X-Men in it. It's the X-Curse. <coughs> yeah i'll upgrade i'm an idiot if it's something like spider-man uh, hush i didn't need five extra pages i wouldn't have gotten that uh for the the 20th anniversary uh i'm trying to think like i bought ninja turtles compendium i didn't need it and honestly if i didn't have a channel probably wouldn't have upgraded to it because it's missing issue eight but you do gain other issues with it no, oh, I would have. I would have because it's got three other issues that were not in the Ultimate Editions. I hope that makes a little sense. Like, I know you're yeah, – that's going into oh, – dude, Joachim! Uh, you, that's going into my head a little much. Um, Hey, good to see you. I could be a Comic-Con in Stockholm right now, but decided to spend the travel money on a drone instead, which is – what are you going to do with the drone? That's very interesting. Like, just play around, have fun. Right. Melanie, not reading Wonder Woman by George Paytas. <laughs> Don't tell Hannah. So, in our seven dollars seventy seven cent tier on Patreon, bite. um, you can be part of the book club, and they voted for issues one through fourteen of Wonder Woman by Perez. That um, right now the vote is for what day and time we'll meet, um, virtually, obviously, to talk about it. So yes, James, a duty to get on it. Don't tell Hannah. Okay, I'm going to scroll down to uh, the bottom of the chat. John said, Death of Superman. You got four different omnis for that. Shut up, John. <laughs> it's not even my favorite story. Mm -hmm. 
have you read the last ronin because that one is the best comics one of the best comics to come out in the last few years in my e opinion. every year at the end of the year i do my top 10 favorite reads and my top 10 favorite releases that's gonna make it in my top 10 favorite reads it was wonderful i loved it i want my daughter to read it because she was asking we were, oh man my daughter and i have been bonding over transformers i finally got some shelves up and we're putting our toys up slowly we went through alternators and beast wars and we're finding the little guns to go with each character and she was looking at my last Ronin copy because um, I was getting a toy of the last Ronin. And she's like, who is it? Which one's the last Ronin? Who's alive? And I'm like, I can't tell you that. I don't even spoil things for my kids. Thank you so much, 0x21. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Where's Wait, Storm? is this Rogue? There's Storm. I know, I already used Storm. Can I use a Rogue? Is that one okay? Or is that just a... Yeah, yeah. You, you can use Rogue. That oh. one's safe for work. Oh, it's okay. Kiki. Look at that cosplay. Oh, but it's not moving. Oh, she's not moving. Okay, I mean, wait, I wish she was. Moving, we need moving. <laughs> X -Men Thank says, you for the super chat. For X-Men's 60th anniversary, no more X-Omnis for 2023, it looks like. Maybe later in the year? I know of two that they had to move to a different time. But think about it this way. Look at all the fans of Hulk and Thor and Avengers. Like There are zero Avengers Omnis so far. And it's also the 60th anniversary. And compare that to the X-Men related Omnis that are coming for 2023. And you'll just go back to your corner and 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 hush and not say a word. Because the Avengers folks will come and get you. Yeah, I feel bad because, like, I, it, you know, it's also the Avengers 60th anniversary. And I realized that I announced Wonder Man. But so maybe that's the start of opening those doors to Avengers, right? Let's get some reprints. Let's get some Avengers Volume 5. Uh, let's continue the West Coast Avengers. I know nobody wants that, but I do. Uh, let's get some force work. See, you don't want me in charge of the collected editions department. Let's get a reprint of the crossing. Uncanny X-Men Volume 5 have the big font on the spine. Thank you, Deflex One. I don't think it will. As soon as I get the dust jacket files, I'll be happy to send it uh, out to our social media, though. I don't think it will because they've done silver, uh, silver Age reprints. And bronze age reprints with those tiny fonts and the uh, picture at the bottom. Is so, there? so you know how they reprinted volumes one and two last year with the new spines. That's what it will look like, guaranteed. Just like the new Wolverine volume three will have the new spine that Wolverine volume two reprint did. Oh, you would buy, it. Yeah, right? We're, right? We're not alone. We're not alone. West Coast Great. Avengers, baby. Great Lakes Avengers. <laughs> is there enough content for an omnibus? I mean, with all their appearances. Wait, is that a real thing? Great mm -hmm. Lakes Avengers. <laughs> yeah, it's a burn thing. Okay, I don't know. It's cracking me. Up. But seriously, I, I, um, mm. I do hint at like uh, reminding sometimes marvel like hey it's also the anniversary of this or i've been told to, uh to remind you all all hell metatron per your recommendation okay. absolutely megatron what other comics do i need to read last stand of the records my dude last stand of the records and once you read that go and start reading phase two freaking awesome man i love last stand of the records <laughs> get to see perceptor kick some butt my Wolverine spines are not going to match. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen anyway eventually. Because once we get to like Weapon X, Wolverine, and the X-Men, the spines are all over the place. Is there a Great Lakes Avengers versus Justice League to join? Okay. <laughs> crossover Those are two real wanted, teams, but have though. Always really? Yes. What is wrong with you? <laughs> how do you not know this? Omar, how big is too big? Will there ever be an omnibus too big for you to consider to enjoy? <laughs> nah, baby, give them to me thick. Bring them to me. Oh, it's from the 80s? Well, I still got strong arms. Yeah, maybe when I get older, you know, up in my, I don't know, wishful thinking, 80s, be like, oh, I need to downsize. Where's Curtis? I'll give him Curtis a call and trade these omnis for his epics. Something like that. Uh, no, I, honestly, I like, I love big books, man. I don't know what it is about them. I, I love like big, big books. Books and I cannot lie. Thank you, baby. Do you, or have you ever had any fun comic book arguments? Who's the best Spider-Man villain? Oh. Best worst Robin? Oh, the, the most we get into, and we don't really get into it, is just Carnage and Venom. Like, the, these, have we? These days? Uh, Hi, guys. I mean, absolutely, I've gotten into it. I used to work at a comic book store. I was assuming me and you. Oh, me and you don't really argue over comics except for the fact but, that you don't like Starman. No, heck you're right. Is wrong it doesn't you. necessarily mean that. Like, yeah, just in general. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And I would I might have been a little bit of a gatekeeper when I was a youngin, but uh, I, don't. I just wanted to prove to people that they don't know everything. The the worst one was when um, the when the comics Please. were coming out. No, no, when the movies were coming out, and I had my coworkers. They didn't know I because I, I'm a I used to be a pretty normal dude that didn't have his like desk decorated with Marvel comics and DC toys and stuff. So you know, it, just your average I don't know muggle whatever you call them. So whenever I would overhear things like, oh, man, yeah, this Captain America is going to lead into the Avengers and then Batman's going to show up and Deadpool, they're going to join the Avengers. I'm, you know, I was like, ah, and then I'm like, I, I didn't want to be the actually guy, but I did stand up and be like, what? No, that's none of this is true. What is wrong with you? Why would you even think that Batman's going to show up in Avengers? What? But the Starman argument isn't really an argument. I agree that it's really good. I just didn't get into it. Okay. So it's not right. like I'm like, it's trash. I agree. The crap uh, you listen to uh, could be good to somebody, but I can't get into it. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. No, the Bob is not my uncle. <laughs> Everybody should love Starman. Like Everybody. Again. Why did they have Uncanny X with three and four spine and big font? And now uh, with five first release, they'll probably go for the small font. They messing with us. Uh, it was thank you for the super chat. I, I think, don't have any more. Asian I explain. Hey, a- Aaron, do the Aaron. That's a good one. Why would you put that up there and not make you it move? I-, I didn't pick it. You did. Oh, I did. <gasps> oh, is that Blue Beetle? Yeah. For Uncanny X Men. Okay. I don't have any other X Men. So thanks. Uh, who was asking about the arguing? Who was that? <laughs> what? Yeah, we argue over the stupidest thing. Like, how can you not make that gift move? Oh, because it's a JPEG. All right. Uh, the 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 short answer to this is that those files were sent to the printer before the change was made. So when the printer printed them out, they had the wrong spines on them. That's that's how it happened. Because actually, those two, three and four, were supposed were supposed to come out before one and two, but because of the delays, they were made afterwards with the old files. I hope that that makes sense. Like when the printer gets the files. They already, I mean, it's already too late, right? Like the files have already been approved. This is what they need. Print it, ship it. By the time we got them over here, when Diamond at the time, I think was still distributing them. Yeah, it was Diamond. Uh, they already had, they, that's when they realized that the spine was there. Yeah, I had that Wolverine one. I don't know where it went. Um, what are your thoughts on Flash by Mark Wade Omni getting two covers? Also, the Batman Metal Omni is getting two covers as well. Batman Metal? Oh, you mean uh, uh, DC Metal? Uh, I I love the idea of direct market covers. I know my overseas people do not because they have a hard time finding a place that can order them. I know Walt's Comic Shop has them. Reed's Comic Shop has them. Walt's Comic Shop. But not yet. Not yet. Uh, But it's difficult for them to get those covers. So they don't, they're not big fans of direct market covers. What I wish would have happened, though, is we didn't know what the direct market cover was going to look like until it actually shipped. And when people say, ask me uh, sometimes on my videos, like, what's going on? Why was the cover changed? So there's two factors at play there. Number one, when the files are changed, Marvel and DC upload those files to the catalog. So that would be PRH now instead of uh, previous World Diamond. It's up to PRH to update their page. But neither PRH nor Lunar updated it with Flash. So I, we had no idea what the direct market cover was going to look like. So it's it, it that that's that's how that happened. I love the idea of direct market covers and variant covers. Sure, bring them to me. But I would like to know what they look like at least. And, and then keep in mind, Marvel also changes covers too. So it's not just a DC thing. I think nowadays it's more of a... The the prh that isn't updating the catalog ben's asking about the variant covers of go go power rangers sing it go go power rangers how great are those go go power ranger variant covers in the back of the lux the locker cover cover and movie parodies are some of my favorites i love the movie parodies as when i was doing the flip through i was like ah that's team wolf that's all about it was fun to do that was i right nobody corrected me was that some kind of wonderful or was it pretty in pink some kind of or 16 candles yeah i only heard of the direct market cover yesterday for flash yeah and i think that really screwed over a bunch of retailers because retailers had no idea what the cover looked like so they didn't some retailers didn't order any if you love reading the events like devil's reign how do you know when to buy the trades or wait for the hardcover omni uh gamble i wait i i'm a, i was a trade wait i'm a trade waiter anyway and 
And now I'm like, okay, surely this event will be collected in omnibus format. And it also depends on how long I can wait. I used to get a bunch of the trades for events. And then when the uh, omnibus comes out of that event, I would pick it right up. I, I love big books, man, of big events. Like, um, you cannot love. Thank you, baby. Marvel's done a phenomenal job of just about all their. Oh my gosh. I think all they're missing, I think is civil war right now as far as like classic events um civil war and what what was i think that's it uh well, go to woke nope, right here okay and then i'll come back to this one because this goes back to the okay. because i'll forget okay. thank you baby uh pra shouldn't need to update the covers print uh what you solicit correct but just like everything else it's all like it, it 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 can all change dc has done it marvel has done it uh other publishers have done it i mean the deathstroke omnibus that i wanted the cover was not what i got and not that that would keep me away from it not 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 that i would not buy that omnibus and not that covers really are that important to me uh, but I understand the frustration of people that are like, hey, that's not the book I pre-ordered. That that That's not the retailer's fault. That really should be your distributor that should be contacting the, the retailers. Like, hey, there's been a change. There's a lot of numbers at play here. There's a lot of people's job that, you know, the miscommunication is going to happen, and it sucks. Uh, Omar, what if Into the Multiverse Volume 2? Yes, buddy. You, not using my favorite cover. The one that you have right there? I know, man. No. Any chance we can talk to David about that? Uh, so they don't do special covers, and I don't know how well that cover would look flat instead of the, what is that, Chromium? Is that what they used? I know it was embossed, but what what was that? It was some kind of special metal-y thing. Don't forget to set your clock backs tonight. Oh, really? We're losing an hour? No, we're not. We're gaining an hour. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. Hot dog. <laughs> Siege needs to have an omnibus, too. No, Siege had an oversized hardcover, so thank you. That's another one, too. Uh, I guess Hickman's Secret Wars could be another one. And Civil War and Siege. So I guess those three. Ben, I did plug the book club. Are you proud of me? She did. She did. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the Batwoman cover still paints me too. Yeah, that was a weird change in that one. And that that feels like the boot cover. There have been so many time travel events in Marvel's comics. I'm wondering if there will ever be a time-based omnibus. Just call it Kang. The Kang omnibus. The Adamant. Yeah, it was supposed to be Adamantium. I know, Jimmy. Thank you for that. But I can't remember what they actually used, what the term is for that type of paper. Any thoughts on Action Comics by Philip Kennedy Johnson? Dude, it, I read the ending and I had to go back and read it digitally. Everything leading up to that. Freaking awesome. I he is He's pushing for an omnibus of that. And one thing you probably have noticed is the lack of omnis from DC. So I don't know how long it will take. Omar, have you noticed DC has increased the price for Metal Omni twice now? First it was solicited at $100, then it was increased to $125. And recently they made it $150 crazy for 760 pages it, yeah, price price um prices are going up right i get it and i'm not taking up for any company both marvel and dc are guilty of raising prices i don't know you know i, I don't know how much each book makes i don't know how much it takes for them to print a book you know i don't know if a book is printed at ten dollars if they print over five thousand copies um what i do know though is that the everything is going up and i know i sound like a broken record and i probably sound like your grandfather or grandmother like oh, no. but it is i mean look at essential things are going up and now we have non-essential things going up and then we worry about the recession happening we have stock market issues we have <laughs> issues with gas prices uh, the interest rates for homes are, oh my gosh, they're a freaking nightmare right now. I'm so glad we don't have to deal with that. And I feel bad for anybody who has to deal with selling or buying a home. But we knew the, the, this is going to happen. Like one of the things I do in my videos, by the way, when people are like, why don't you call them out? Like 
I don't, I, 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 all my videos, I, I state what you get. I, I tell you the collection or I'm sorry, what's collected in there, the page number and the price. I stay out of it. What you do with your hard earned cash is up to you. I don't, I don't tell people what to buy. I don't tell people what not to buy because if you want me doing that, then people that actually listen to me would never buy a Bendis book or a Mark Miller book or a Daniel Way book. And all they'd buy was new warriors and the crossing. So that's kind of not what I want to do with the channel. Uh, I haven't heard about the price increase on that, honestly, but I mean, look, look at, uh, $75 for Marvel's uh, Strange Academy, and they only had six issues in there, right? How much was it? 75 bucks. Six issues and six black and white issues. That is so, awesome. so it's really up to you all, you know, to decide what to buy and what not to buy. Thank you for the super chat, the Flex yeah, One. Does Alan Moore receive royal? No, he does not want any. Or did he not want his name on the book because he didn't want to uh, take part of the project? So you're asking if he receives any royalties for Miracle Man. Um, so the, 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 the answer behind that is a really heartbreaking, uh, comics, uh, I strongly suggest to anybody that's like, oh, Alan Moore is an old crazy man. Go and watch the latest interview with, I mean, it's not latest, it's probably about two years ago with his daughter and it will break your heart how comics have just destroyed him. Uh, for the same reason he wanted his name off of Watchmen, does not want any money, doesn't want anything to do with the movie. Um, this had something to do more with the actual creator of the book and passing that on to his family and estate. That was one of the deals uh, he had with Neil Gaiman. So uh, there's a lot more to it than that kind of thing with Captain Britain too. But it is at the end of the day, it was his choice. It was never the company's choice, DC or Marvel, or or the people making the movies or TV shows. It's never them that do not want to. Uh, put his name on his projects or book or or projects that are based on his work. Um, are we going to get Al Ewing's Omnis for Doctor Strange or? Uh, I don't know about that one yet. I hope so because that man is incredible. And when I say Watchmen, I mean the movies and TV show. I don't mean I I I don't know what kind of deal he worked with DC, but his name still appears in every reprint of Watchmen. The comic book um let's see so hi joel what's up joel i don't know if he takes royalties for watchmen and swamp thing i have no idea i would assume these days no <laughs> mm. kebab boy is still mad but absolute metal didn't have the dark days one shots that will be in the omnibus right not in the know, absolute. Do you know anything about Adventure Man Volume 2? Hardcover should be out, but I can't find it in Europe. I believe it just came out this week, right? Yeah, it just came out this week. So you should be able to find it sometime soon. That's the Mad Fraction book. Uh, haven't opened up yet. We're waiting for more people to join. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I'll show it here in about 20 minutes. Okay. Promise. About Spider Gittin, by the way. All royalties for Watchmen go to Gibbons by wishes of more. Man. See, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, they uh, comics have, have destroyed him. And he changed the world of comics. We wouldn't have Sandman. Neil Gaiman wouldn't be Neil Gaiman without books like Miracle Man, Marvel Man. I mean, Neil Gaiman said that in an interview. He would have never wrote a comic. He would have. Wouldn't, yeah, it's crazy. I generally respect and understand Moore's position, but sometimes it messes with other creators. For instance, he refuses to let 1963, I know, I love that series, to be reprinted uh, or completed by Vate Simpson. Oh, dude, Don Simpson, that's right. Anybody, that was a, one of the hidden gems of image com early com image comics, Alan Moore's 1963. It's his take on like a Silver Age, Fantastic Four type of story. Oh, it was so good. Hi, Michael C. What's up, dude? How are you doing, brother? Hope all is well with you. Staying safe in these times. We are staying safe because we stay at home. Where most oh, accidents are prone to happen in your bathrooms. And Melanie, you stay safe too. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. Comics is still only be for 11-year-olds if it wasn't for more. That's a tr I mean, that is a true statement. 
I'm. I mean, oh, I, I think top ten by more. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's one of my favorite. My buddy Kyle sent me that. That's actually how Kyle found me. He was um he was watching one of my videos where I didn't have that, and he was like, "I want to gift you this, man." And I'm like, uh, "Don't do that, dude. I I don't know you." And yeah. You know Kyle. And I don't know Kyle real well. He's a good dude. What do you mean comics have destroyed him? His uh, spirits. Like what the comic industry has done. The idea of comics. Seriously, I strongly suggest watching that uh, interview uh, where him and his daughter talk about how comics have affected him. Why he doesn't want to go back where to it. Where can you find the interview? It's on YouTube. Okay. I can't remember so what it's called. Yeah. Look that up. But uh, in a way, I feel like comics would be written for 11-year-olds if it wasn't for more. I feel like in a way, though, Stan Lee and the people at DC were doing more adult-themed stories because they realized, like in the early 80s, because they realized their, their viewers were growing up. That's why, like, New Teen Titans, Passed by the Comics Code, has some adultish themes at the very beginning. Or Uncanny X-Men or Avengers. They were, I mean, they were trying all kinds of different things back then. No word on Indiana Jones right now. Waiting for an Omni announcement. Maybe one day. Maybe when the new movie comes out. Mm -hmm. um, have either of you read mm -mm. Strange Girl or Nightmare by Rick Remender? Not Just if they're any good. I haven't. Not Nightmare. Or is Nightmare part of the... Oh my goodness. What is that series called? Cross Space. Uh, uh, hold on. I did read uh, Strange Girl. And I liked it. Where's my strange girl completely collection? Oh, it's over there. Uh, if Nightmares and yeah, I have read Nightmare then. It's part of this collection right here. That one's okay, but I really like Strange Girl. I love the art in Strange Girl too. Thanks, Supreme Omega. Is this a reference to Transformers? Omega Supreme? Supreme. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, thoughts on 90s Batman. Oh, so you get Batman. There we go. Matches. With events like Nightfall, writers like Doug Mon Min uh, Minch, Alan Grant, Chuck Dixon, and the Defined Batman family with Tim, Cass, and Steph. My era of Batman. Yeah. I love that stuff. Oh, man. Alan Grant's Batman with Norm Greyfogle. Gray oh, my gosh. So good. Nightfall, the event was fun. I mean, I like the beginning. I like... The Night's End. Oh, I love Prodigal. Oh, my God. When Dick Grayson asked him, why didn't you choose me to be Batman? Why did you choose this other guy? Oh, my gosh. And Bruce Wayne's speech about fathers and sons. Man, that was so good. That was so good. Jim Aparo on artwork. Graham Nolan on artwork. I love that era. Yeah. Dixon's Nightwing is one of my favorite runs of all time. Seer Red was too long. You're absolutely right. That was also in that Crawl Space. Crawl Space, by the way, has a bunch of... Uh, I think it was in my Hidden Gems, if you want to go back last year. Hidden Gems for October. I'll talk about it more in detail. What am I eating? I'm eating a... Uh, um, what is this? A cheese Danish. Yeah, I finished my way earlier. I can't stop eating. It's so good. <laughs> From uh, Panera. It's okay. Uh... You read Head Lopper? I haven't read it. I'm you waiting for a hardcover. I'm waiting for a hardcover of that. And, oh, what's the fantasy book from Image? I always forget what it's called. Uh, middle? No. Oh, dang it. It's a, it's a fantasy book that I'm surprised has not been released. Most single issues of Batman I had as a kid were drawn by Norm Brayfogle. That's why I had to get the Nightfall Omnibus. He was phenomenal. And Jim Aparo is still my Batman artist. Man, now we're both gone. Do you think we'll see reprints of Perez, Wonder Woman 2 and 3 and Titans 2 and 3? I think so. I think so. What are you drinking? Uh, what are you selling? I'm <laughs> drinking mop water. Dirty mop water. Ew! <laughs> Millie the model. <laughs> Where's, at cheesy toast, toast and faking. Bacon, but fake? Is that oh, fake bacon? Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, if you won some of our prizes from our giveaway, I'm doing another batch, boxing things up and shipping. I guess this would be the third shipment. So thank you all for being patient. Oh, well, you already did too. I'm so proud of you. Um, yeah, it's one with his daughters. Or his daughter, I'm sorry. So, yeah. 
yeah. What are you buying? Boyin. <laughs> I heard boyin. Boyin. <laughs> oh, I forgot to start playing a Resident Evil game. Oh yeah, I asked and you were like, you don't like the fir the first person perspective. Like, yeah, I don't like it. I no, need to see yeah. You're so peculiar. I about... am peculiar, particular, picky. And peculiar. Hey, yeah. Uh... <laughs> no better start to the morning than some warm microwave tea. Jeez. Don't start. Don't would, start that. I would eat some tea. <laughs> Tea based. I need some pea based. Bacon. What's up, Jeff? Hey. ¿Cómo estás, hermano? Is he crying? The interview is just with his daughter. Yeah, that's the one with his daughter. She talks openly about him, and she probably never could if he was there. No, he's a he's a really interesting guy. Oh, oh, okay. So you're saying he wasn't there? It was just. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was talking. an interview with his daughter. Oh, but it's about Alan Moore. Wow, that took like half an hour to figure Melanie, out. Melanie, please read Sadamoto's Evangelion manga. I thought you did. Wait, did I? Mm -hmm. It's what, the one with Marie one? at the Doesn't explain much, but it adds, and his art is beautiful. Well, oh my goodness. You know I love Evangelion. I love Evangelion. But I don't remember that, so maybe it didn't make as much impression on me. Oh, I don't know. I like the idea of Marie. She needs to be fleshed out more. And it's always hard for years of just having the main three. I'll let you answer why. And then to add somebody else, like, you know, that's difficult. Uh, Melanie doesn't like new kids. On the block. No. They need to get off the block. Yeah, Jimmy, I thought his daughter was interviewing him. Or somebody else was interviewing both of them. Uh, uh, <laughs> last The chats do become theme. Last time was 10 out of 10 shows. Tonight is Alan Moore. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it does, Josh, but I'm peculiar in particular. Yeah. I myself am the strange and unusual. Nice, Lydia. How's everybody doing, by the way? We're doing you all right. You were there How at are the you? beginning, and then you weren't. Yeah, you, you always leave when all you right, ask Taurus a question. All right, Torsen's going to find the link. Thank you, Torsen. Go, go, go for it. You can do it. <laughs> Put it in Omari, the chat. even if you can't say the date as of yet, do you know or think we will be getting a Brew Baker omnibus? Oh, I forgot to answer the question about Amazing Spider Man Volume 2. Dang it. Thanks, Logan Wayne. Um, if you're still here watching, the person that asked about Amazing Spider Man omnibus or uh, Epic Collection Volume 2. Oh, I thought you answered that question. <laughs> I did it because you kept going back. It's your fault. I, mm, I left it up. Uh, it was. Voted number nine in our top 25 most wanted epic reprints. So far, they've printed just about all of them. I think they haven't printed number eight yet, which is Round Robin. And you're asking about Red Brew Robin. Baker. Yum. Let me see. All right. I sent that. No, that's. Oh, my gosh. That's from 2020. 2021. Omnibus. Let me look up. <laughs> One of his emails said, holy S-A-I-D, that's stop the it, list. Stop it. <laughs> uh, hold on just a second, buddy. All right, here we go. Let me see if what made it there. All right, so the list shows that Daredevil, Brubaker Volume 2. Oh, dude, it's not on the list. It didn't get voted. I mean, they could very well print it. Did I do this right? Mm -hmm. um, top 20 Marvel Omnibus. Well, it has a... That. Yeah, but I don't see... Yeah. Here. Uh, yeah, so odds are, I good. don't know, man. Uh, I see Daredevil by Frank Miller on the list, and I see Daredevil by Wade Omnibus Volume 1 on the list, but I don't see the one by Brubaker got voted. So may maybe, maybe uh, there's a chance, though. Reading 14 years of comics in three and a half months definitely gives me a different perspective on the series. Okay, so, we, yeah, let's get the Super Chat. And I know NFL Dude's uh, first comment. See, it's one to two. Um, oh, okay. I'm thank sorry. you, Supreme Omega. Which version of the Nightwing do you prefer? He was the leader of the Titans in the 80s, or, or when he was the leader of the Titans in the 80s, or when he became more involved with the Bat Family in the 90s. Give me that Bat Family, baby. I love when he came he came back to the Bat Family. And then he got his own city in Bloodhaven. I thought that was the best Nightwings. And I, honestly, Nightwing right now is solid. Probably the best Nightwing it's been since the days of Chuck Dixon. 
So did I miss anything interesting? And now, no bar, where were you? You missed all the announcements. I've been reading Berserk since August, and I'm at, in the Falcon arc when they uh, they fight the Kelpie. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, what it was, was it like reading looking. the oh. series when it was new? You were always so eager to read the next one before I had even knew what it was about or reading it. Uh, I'll tell you what it was like, NFL dude. Nobody was talking about it. They weren't YouTube back then. There weren't even forums back then where people were talking about uh, Berserk. So every time I read it, and I used to review it for a magazine and then eventually a website, um, I would push it like, I hope people are reading this because this is – I didn't want the book to get canceled in America. I always had a fear that it would get canceled because nobody was talking about it. it And now it's the number one best-selling book at Dark Horse. Not, you know. Didn't you not read it on a plane once? Yeah, because I didn't want the plane to go down and then God judge me <laughs> for reading was like, What's it about? We were going we were going to Japan when I was reading <laughs> it. And I'm like, man, if this plane goes down, I want God to be like, what's the last thing you read, Omar? Berserk. Uh, reading Berserk, the trolls, the, there's a cave troll, and oh, you gosh, see what happens. <laughs> um, and you know it's really, really weird. This week, like I'm trying to make a connection with this kid who like uh reads a lot of manga. And he likes Berserk, and we do not talk about details at all. But he's like, I wish the library would get Berserk. I was like, no way that's a happening. And uh, and why not? So oh, I talked about how shut your mouth, uh, how inspirational it is and stuff. But I was like, I'm not going into details talking about it with this kid because, um, anyway. So, and we're so excited for the next collected edition mm, 41. We should be getting it tomorrow. We, have, we, don't, we don't read it unless it's in book form. Yo. Oh. Three weeks ago, Dark Horse. Did you Horse, say tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. Dark Horse sent me first. a digital copy of it. I'm going to read it first. Yeah, and I was like, when can I get a physical copy of it? I'm going to read it first. I'm really weird because I don't read these digitally. And she was like, oh, I'll send you a physical copy. Then delays happen. And we'll get it tomorrow. And we'll be doing a review tomorrow. You answer me thrice. Thank you, Josh Campbell. Man Thing versus Swamp Thing. Go. Alan Moore Swamp Thing. And I love Steve Gerber's Man Thing. Don't take that out of context, please. Yeah, Do time. not take that out every of context. Every time. But Alan Moore Swamp Thing, all day, every day. Mm -hmm. oh, Good you. morning, Robert. 271 you, streamers. Only 100. Yeah, oh, please, at this moment, we do want to remind you all to smash that like button. Super sticker from Barb. But before we get to that one, uh, really quick. Omar, did Silver Surfer by Slot get pushed back? It did. I think it will be December or January. So, on top of a bar, super question. Sticker. Soft cover, Omar. <laughs> you too? No. You don't even like Spider Man. Why are you asking me this question? It's been 20 minutes. Like... All right, Spider Man. How oh, well? Wait, I gotta give the Harley. How well? Okay. Chicken but... little butt. Oh, yeah. Here we go. By the way, I am just the messenger. I don't know how this book is mapped. I just literally got it out of its plastic. You do not take pictures to show people on forums or reddits. And then later on, I have all these angry emails. All right. So here's the cover. Spider-Verse versus spider again. I believe this is the DM cover. That's the cute little uh, spine right there. And then the back of the book right there, which a bunch of spiders people's fighting. All right. Let's look at this together. You're seeing this live. We're doing it live. All right. So... The flaps here, team up to end all team ups. I do like the design of the red, it's nice. There we go. Uh, the best emails are angry. Oh my goodness, I do not want to relive those uh days of the freaking spines. Then this right here, so gotta be careful how I do this. It's gonna give you an idea. This is a big one. This is a big book. Is that Arthur Adams? It looks like an Arthur Adams drawing. All right. Awesome. No, Romelli, glad you guys are uh, glad yeah, to see you guys. Like always, got a new job, so now I can focus on reading. Come, congratulations, Asif. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see you. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see here. Number one thing I want to look at is see if this is a big book. I assume this is the iMac printer. All right. So, free comic book day 2014. That's what kicks off. Spider-Verse. 
Then we have Superior Spider-Man 32 and 33, Edge of Spider-Verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that looks like they collected all the miniseries there. Then Amazing Spider-Man 7 through 8, Amazing Spider-Man 9 through 11, Amazing Spider-Man 12 through 15. So it looks like they're collecting it in chunks. Spider-Verse 1 and 2 after Amazing Spider-Man. Wait a minute, that, that can't be right. Is that still Spider-Verse? Yeah, that's Spider-Verse. Sorry, sorry. Uh, then the team up Spider-Verse 1 and through 3. It's at the it's the iMac printer. Spider-Man 2099, 5 through 8, Scarlet Spiders 1 through 3, and Spider-Woman 1 through 4, which takes us to Superior Spider-Man 32 and 33. And Superior Octopus. And then we get this Edge of Spider Geddon. So it looks like the Edge of Spider Versus was kicking it off. The miniseries, and that's the miniseries that introduces us to Gwenpool. Or not Gwenpool, I'm sorry. Spider Gwen, who just randomly shows up here. So, just a second. Well, hold on. Okay, now I'm confused. That, I was just reading the... I'm sorry, go, 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 hold on a second, guys. I, I don't... It takes me a while to... Whenever I do these videos. Uh, that can't be right. Right? Okay, so we're jumping from Superior Spider-Man 33 to Amazing Spider-Man number 7. Holy crap! I think it might be in reading order. Hold on, because we have Edge of Spider-Verse number 1. And then we have Superior Spider-Man number 33. And then we have Amazing Spider-Man number 7. Uh, and then Amazing Spider-Man number 8. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Don't quote me on it might be in reading order. Because because at any time they could... There's Edge of Spider-Verse number 2. That's what introduces us to Spider-Gwen. And then we have Edge of Spider-Verse 3. Edge of Spider-Verse 4, which I guess makes sense since that's a miniseries that introduces us to all these spider folks. And then Edge of Spider-Verse 5. What happens next? Is that the Spider-Man 2099? Okay, then Spider-Man 2099 number 5. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I, this is really boring for people that don't care about Spider-Man, but I'm just trying to see if it's in reading order or if it's in... Okay, I think, I holy crap, I think this is actually in reading order. Because Spider-Man 2099 number five ends. Then we get a little bit of a mini or a little backup story. And then we get Spider-Verse number one. Now, if Spider-Verse number one and two are not together, then we're good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ipsy's saying it's fun watching this. I can't get a word in edgewise because he, well, he's talking out loud. Hold on. But it's so cute. That's what you do when you think. No, 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 no. I, I spoke too soon. Hold on. Oh, okay. okay. Because it looks like some, the, the, the lead up to Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse one and two are together. What is it? I'm answering a question. Oh, without, sorry. Without interrupting you. And then we have Spider Amazing Spider-Man 9 through 14 together. When is it coming out? This is coming, I believe it's been delayed until January. So some of it looks like... So the table of contents is not how it's printed? The table of contents is not how it's printed. Which is good. I didn't want it to be like that. Because table of contents has all the series together. And I hate it the way it was... Uh, okay, so and those of you super chats, I've started them. I'm coming back to them so he can give his. Thank you. I'll, I'll, let me spend one more minute on this. So, if we have Amazing Spider-Man number nine, that continues into. Okay, Amazing Spider-Man nine and ten should be together. I think. That's Spider Verse: The Feast. Sorry, uh, maybe they're putting story arcs together, which is better. And then we get Scarlet Spiders number one. So, yeah, I think this is in reading order. I think I'll, that's okay just to say, I think. You're not I, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but uh, there's so many freaking pages in this book. I want yeah, to make sure. it's really big. And usually it takes me a long time to research this, by the way. So you're seeing it live. Because we're jumping into the Spider-Woman story. And then um, Spider-Man 2099. I'll triple check, okay? I promise... I'll, uh, 
I'm at Quinton Diaz. I will uh, keep you all updated. I know it's very important to people that haven't had a chance to to read it or want to upgrade. Uh, so it, 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 it's important to me too. Whoever was asking me when I would upgrade, I would upgrade if this book was actually printed in reading order. Or any if book. Not, if, not. if it is. I need it to be in reading order. Not publishing or, or not story arcs. Like, you can't have all no, Spider-Man uh, all in one. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think you misunderstood. That was what a, said. Put me on the spotlight there, Barb. Thank you. Um, Kevin, thank you for the super chat. You get... Thank you, Kevin. Too, because I don't have any more x -Men. That's okay. Guts is great. <laughs> All right. Happy Saturday. We're close to Devil's Raid on me. Also, was thinking there'd be more X-Men announced to, uh, for the anniversary year. Where are those books at? Would you like to tell him about the prepositional phrase? Oops. No, I'm good. Okay. Um... <laughs> because it's dialect. It's not. Fair. I know of two oh. more X-Men related books. I don't know when they'll fall into the schedule because we still have September, October, November, December. Four more months. What I'm hoping for is that they'll announce some Avengers stuff. So we have, I mean, we already have a bunch of X-Men stuff coming. I know we can always use more. Believe me, you're talking to the guy that calls himself Uncanny Omar. I want more too. But I also want more for my fellow Avengers lovers. You know, they haven't had a good book in a long time or a book like that. Uh, so... Kevin, thank you. I, I, I know two more, Kevin. I just can't say a word yet. But I did hint earlier at a gallery edition of a famous hunter that has nothing to do with X-Men. I don't know why I brought that up. I'm sorry. And Josh keeps talking about it. Okay. <laughs> oh, dang it. Where did it? Um. Okay, here is the oh, next Oh, from Matt. Chat. What's thank up, buddy? You. Any Day on Thor by J, Volume 2. Omni reading one now is my first Thor book, and it's incredible. And how do you decide what to read next? Overwhelmed by all the unread books you make me get. You. <laughs> uh, thank you, Matt. Oh, hey, thank you. So, uh, for me, okay, if I was a dude that did not do YouTube for a living and did a comic book channel like this, um, I love reading books that are like cover to cover. I don't start on a new book until I'm done with the cover to cover. If I'm going through Flash, if I want to reread all of Flash, I'll go from my earliest trade paperback to the latest book that I have. Uh, same thing with X-Men. That's why I like putting those reading orders together. I love doing those. I'm doing that with Transformers right now, even though one publisher doesn't have anything to do with the next. Uh, but that's the way that I would do it. I, I don't now I set books aside. I'm like, well, that's enough Wolverine. I got to go jump and read Captain Carter because I don't know what, anything about Captain Carter or the fact that's a ridiculous name. Oh, I guess. No, that would be your. It's not a ridiculous name. Oh, I mean, it's for a superhero, as Carter. ridiculous as Spider Gwen, even though that wasn't what she called herself. Oh, it's got the alliteration. I and and she was a captain in the military. So Captain Carter. <laughs> All right. My bad, Captain Carter. Anyway, or I got to go and read the new Black Panther series because that video needs to be out on Tuesday. And it stopped me from reading uh, one of the Dark Horse books I was going through, the Aztec book. So that's how I decide nowadays, like, oh, I got to get this video out. Or uh, I got to make sure this video comes out when I told my viewers it would come out. Or I got to push myself through Spider again, make sure this is in reading order and in an order that makes sense because people will kill me. Man thing because of Howard the Duck. You know, David Gabriel would be so proud of you, Jeff. That's his favorite character of all time. Howard the Duck. What are you gonna do? Alf. Thank Yikes, you, Jeff. Alf. Here, I'll go start opening up some boxes. Okay. What about so, the predator? Uh, I, I hope that was um I hope that was give you a little bit of an idea of what's spider getting. I know it's just literally me here flipping through pages going, wait. I think it's in this order. No, wait. Okay. Uh, can we please have a quick look at the Predator Omni? Uh, I don't have it even opened it yet, man. Uh, but yes, of course. I'll get Melanie to open it while she's opening the other boxes, okay? Uh, we do have some... Uh, did you bring the stray stuff? I uh, will. Thank you, baby. So when Melanie gets back, she can sing the jingle. But while we're here, I'll open up that Predator here in a second. Uh, I do want to remind people that live in Europe and are interested in buying big books, uh, big Omnis, pre-ordering them. Definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and big DC books within the EU. Flat rate shipping of 12 euros for all EU countries. Bulletproof packaging. All emails will be answered within 24 hours. And they also have... 
a special code right now, promotional code at waltzcomicshop.com, where you can use the code near mint condition, all one word at the checkout, and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order of over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop. I'm here. All right, get over here. Get over here and sing it. Waltz Comic Shop. Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for Omni's and Premium Collected Edition in Europe. You're so, you're so cute. I love you. Thank you, baby. I'm gonna take the super chat and then I'll show some of the things we got. And I'll show and I'll show the predator here in a second, brother. Any news on the new Dark Horse omnibus uh in hardcover? Uh down payment uh twice for the postal charge. That's right, man. I need to get with uh Diane Bree Collectors. He shipped me your book. I just need the tracking number. Um not yet. But I'm really pushing for the Harrow County books to be reprinted. And I'm hoping because Goon is back over at Dark Horse, we get those library editions reprinted there too. I wonder if Peter Gabriel likes Howard the Duck. <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. <laughs> Agent Carter was highly underrated TV show. You know, I never did watch it. Iron Man needs love. That's another one, Dean. I, I know that he's not a, a, a hot seller, but I know I have a lot of viewers that really like Iron Man. And I think it's time for some Iron Man. Um, Mad Fraction Run, I think, is the one that most people ask for. But here we go. Predator, the original years. This is the direct market cover. Look out. No, I'm sorry. This is the standard edition cover. I have the direct market cover over there. And then there's the back right there. Oh, my gosh. That's so awesome. Underneath the dust jacket. Let's see what it looks like. We have this piece of art right here. Predator Tours. And... So let me give you an idea, Bo, if you're still, because I know you're in Australia. There you go, buddy. Melanie's throwing, shucking some things up here. Shuck away, baby. From our buddy, Philip Evans, who donated some stuff for our next giveaway. And this one smells like iMac. Tastes like iMac. Yeah. Well, but he's tasting these books. Let me see. Um, this one's iMac printer. Istanbul, Turkey. All right. Istanbul, uh, so there you go. Oh, oh, sorry if you haven't opened it. No, oh, no, it's okay, man. I got you, dude. I need to open them anyway. Thank you so much for the super chat, the flex one. Do I need to read Batman by Grant Morrison before I read Batman and Robin by Tomasi? Can I jump into Tomasi without having a general idea of Damien? Oh, by having a general idea of Damon. Yeah, absolutely. But there is something you should read. And that's uh, Batman Incorporated. Read it before a specific part when you get into Batman. If you go back to my reading orders. By the way, I have written documentation of the reading orders on our Patreon, if ever you need to go back uh, to those. But in my video, when I get to the Grant Morrison stuff, I talk about a specific part. I don't spoil it why you should read it before reading Batman and Tomasi. Like, read Batman and, uh, Batman and Robin by Tomasi up until a certain point. Then go back and read that Grant Morrison Incorporated. I think it's what it is, Batman Incorporated. And then go back and read Batman and Robin by Peter Tomasi. Omar, why'd you replace Melanie's Jingle for Walt's Comic Shop in the sponsor section of your videos? Because I had to record it. Uh, they had to change some things. And Melanie wasn't around. It was a time when she was... Um, do not apologize for making me open it, Omnibo. I got you, my brother. Love you. Uh, I she was working at the time. So I was like, I got to get this out. We will, when she takes a break from school. Also, just remember to do it. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> Omar, great book, Predator. But you already have Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man Omnibus. Show us something, please. You want to see something really scary? Gabriel Lopez? Uh, hold on a second. Let me, let me, I, I, I will. Go when ahead, Mel no, go ahead and show it. Okay. No, I will. But let me show what we got from... Andrew, these will be shipping out to our winners overseas. Uh, but these are the stray toaster projects. Like my our buddy Andrew Rosenberger printed himself. You know, I gotta give this guy props. Uh, we all talk about in the community here, like how we want to he is giving that away. Oh my gosh, Philip. That's the, what I was trying to read yesterday. Play to the immortal. What a good guy. So he does homages, if you will, uh, to projects from different movies, to toasters. He just inserts a toaster in there like this is the death of Optimus Prime. 
or a fistful of toast, things like that. But we all talk about how whenever do, whenever we do this, uh, you know, anybody that has read comics, how we want to make our own comic. It's okay, baby. One day. There's so many. One day we want to make our own comic book. And he actually did it. He actually printed his own book. So good for him. I'll be giving some of these away to our viewers. I Actually, I bought one. And then where you can find out about the Stay, Stray Toaster Projects. Again, that's Matthew Rosenberg. What a good guy. Um, nope. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Come on, Melanie. Keep it together. Keep it together. Let me get this from Michael. Can you please talk to David and suggest that 2099 Omni gets released with foil borders like the original number one? Michael, I will try my shot one more time. But I was flat out told, no, that would raise the price of that book. It smells like iMac, but I but I will try. I promise. Just like I will try to see if we can get that issue number 50, right? Uh, what if? With the skeleton of Wolverine's adamantium. All right. This is from our buddy, Philip Evans. Who donated so many books for our giveaway? The next giveaway we have, so many books. I'll take them. And so keep an eye out when we reach a milestone of probably like, eighty thousand. Look at that! Let's give it away. Blade of the Immortal volumes one and two. Two is not even open. I need to talk to that man about donating books he didn't even read. Um, now Philip is a good guy. So keep an eye out on our channel. We'll be doing giveaways, and I may send some of these with our viewers. If he's okay with that, that won some stuff. That Valiant stuff, I might end up keeping, though, because he told me that I should read it at oh, least. Yeah. 86. I don't know what that is. Oh, is that Ryuko? I like art. Oh, I like this. The Nico, Nico got, got. I mean, let me get this. Uh, oh, wait. Lydia to read these. Oops, I spent stuff up. It's okay. Yeah. Um, this is the Valiant stuff. Uh, and then we have some trade paperbacks he donated, and then some hardcovers over there. Yeah, uh, da -da. that's the valiant stuff. And looks like this the death of Wolverine spoilers, and the that stack over there. I think yeah. I, didn't, I didn't show that stack. Man, what a guy! These are hardcovers, yeah. So these right here, and those hardcovers right there, including holy moly, a long out of print book. What a guy. So thank you so much. Man, this random card was in it. It's a bookmark. I don't know what it is. To Philip Evans. What a gentleman. Haha, uh -huh, Twilight Zone movie. Want to see something really scary? Philip, yeah, what's up, dude? Thank you for donating that stuff. No, man, don't worry about it. We'll keep them for the next giveaway. I'm going to build a chair out of those books. <laughs> thank you, brother. Wolverine well, died? Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> Can you give me some advice on where to buy comics and what comics to buy? I'm 12 years old. I prefer comics that don't require reading before or after. So like one shots. Where uh, where do you live? Let me ask you that. Where do you live? And then we can go from there. And if you like one shots, every year I like to do standalone books, standalone graphic novels. Uh, so if you go back every, I think last year I did it in October and in November I did it. No. Two years ago, I did in October and last year in November. Um, Israel. So if you live in Israel, is it the comic comic book? Oh, my gosh. Depository, I think, is where some people get stuff. You could try Walt's comic shop to see how much of delivery is there. Omar's asking a 12-year-old where they live. Shut up. Shut up. Don't take that out of context. I'm asking him because he's asking a question about reading comics. Uh, Amazon delivers because it is difficult for people overseas. That's where Bar's from. Bar's from in Israel. Mm -hmm. um, Bar, send this kid some comics. Yeah, Bar, I'm gonna send. You know what, Bar? I am. I'm gonna send. Look, Bar, if you can, you do me a favor. I'm being serious. Can you get with this kid? I'm gonna send you some extra books to 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 give him if you can send them. Uh, otherwise, I would love to send you books, man. You're 12 years old. I love giving kids comics. But it's costing me a hundred dollars to ship out one box to to Bar. So if Bar can help me, she's a wonderful human being. I can't assume. I'm, I'm gonna throw. A, I'll throw something extra special. She'll know what book is there for her. Uh, then I'll have. I'll, I'll. I'll. I'll send you some books, dude. Okay. Uh, Bar said that she can't. Oh, thank you. Uh, Nightwing Annual Number Two. If you want to read a great shot, you got the new one. I haven't read it yet. No, no, no. What is that? 
Thank it's you. It's a heart for um, all the love we're showing. I'm not quite sure. Uh, um, <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> Check out this panel. Van. <laughs> I'm not reading. Do not read that. Hey, Joey. What's I up, Joey? That you all are doing well. Thank you for being understanding in regards to me being someone with autism. It makes me sad that there are other people who don't feel the same. Take care. Definitely, dude. Like, and those people are just missing out, right? Yeah. Absolutely, buddy. You keep being you. And everybody saying they're a kid. Yeah. You know how I'll come on my chat and watch that dude be 40 year old man going, Gotcha, Omar. <laughs> <laughs> Send me your spectacular Spider Man Omnibus. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, get with Bar, and I'll I'll send her some extra books. Can you give me the spectacular? All cats are coming man? back at Behind DC. I saw that. Maybe an Omni. Can we get some Alan Moore? This one. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love an Alan Moore, Travis Cheris. Oh my gosh, I would love an omnibus of that stuff. Uh, here's Spectacular Spider-Man for the uh, gentleman that was asking about it. Spine. This is the direct market cover because I love the issue number one cover. No, oh, no, that's standard edition. I'm sorry. Direct market is the one with uh Moon Knight. Apologies. I'm 42. My back hurts. <laughs> Let me open it up. I'm sure they wanted to see it. Any interviews coming up? I am reaching back out for interviews. Um, on November 21st, though, we are doing something with uh Nick from Dynamite. We're going to be doing an auction on our channel um, to benefit. Uh, Rachel Pollock, whose cancer went back to remission, by the way. And that is Sunday, November, I think it's 20th is the way we, uh, the day we decided to do it at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll double check the time. Let me see here. Give me, give me, actually, give me one second because it is important. I do want to push yeah. that. Um, Let's see. It, it, and it's an auction that he's selling books and we do it through our channel. And. Let's see. Yeah, November Sunday, November twentieth, one p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll be an auction, uh, and the whatever money we get, we are donating to the Rachel Pollock. Uh, she's a wonderful creator, way ahead of her time. Wrote Doom Patrol, and uh, yeah, you know she suffers from cancer. And if you know any creators, like uh, insurance doesn't come cheap in this country, and that's why there's the Hero Initiative and things like that. So. Yeah, we donated money to the Hero Initiative. That was nice, man. We did that like with the uh not I mean I'm not patting myself on the back, but that was a nice chunk of change because we uh it was for the Avengers versus X-Men thing and two people ended up winning it for buying tickets. That was cool. We did uh, it was nice because we didn't have to be middle uh middleman to that. So they didn't lose any money. They got exactly what people donated. So that was awesome. Um so I'm gonna say Ninjito. If oh, how how can we um, dude? This kid can't send uh, the address. Do me a favor. Bar, like. Email email us. Uh, uh, email Ninjito. Email me at uh, nearmintcon at email dot com at email dot com at gmail dot com. Like. So nearmintcon at gmail dot com. Email me there. Okay. Tell me. Hey, this is Ninjito. I'm the one that lives in Israel. Um, send bar my books or something like that, and I'll I will I will make sure to get the information from you. Okay, we'll make it happen. We'll make it with happen. Permission somehow. of with your you permission with. from your parents. I'm not sending you anything like berserk, so don't expect that. Okay, so again, email us at nearmincon at gmail .com. I can't believe I did not change that back. Your name is still New Orleans too. <laughs> oh my gosh, is it bar second account? Yeah, they're talking to each other. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So email Wait. me. Mm. There still could be somebody else in the chat that understands Hebrew and know the address. So, yeah, don't put your address on the chat. I'm 42 and freaking everything hurts. I feel that, brother. I feel that. <laughs> She's asking the kid to ask for more. Like, Doug, what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Joe the Comic Ops. Hey, Omar, sorry to ask another question. It's okay, buddy. Do you think Spider-Man by Lee Volume 2 and the X-Men Volume 1 through 2 Omnibus will be reprinted? Oh, I need Jack's super chat. Also, do you have Silver Surfer Omni by slot? I would like to see those spines. I don't have that one yet. Um, but Spider Man by Lee Volume 2 got a reprint last year, I thought. And X Men 1 and 2 got a reprint this year at the beginning of the year. So those are those are back out. Did they sell out already? 
Whatever you do, just don't send New Mutants number 30, 40th anniversary. Bad right. New Mutants no number 30. Bueno. Thank you, Jack, for the super Really chat, bad though. right. That's Chris Claremont, <laughs> boy. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, to the person. I'm sorry. I should have held this up. This is what Spectacular Spider-Man Omnibus looks like. I can tell you from the smell. This is printed at the iMac printer. I like the bag. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sending Crossed or Berserk or anything like that. And make sure you're <laughs> – and I'll get with you through email, okay? As long as you email me, yourmaincon at gmail.com. I'll send Bar some books and you two can talk. I don't know what language he's typing in. Melanie, really? what language? Hebrew. Really? Uh, you're so <laughs> ignorant. <laughs> no, I just know you know the answer. Um, Orange Heart. Hi, Melanie. For you who see the future, news about Captain America by Mark Greenwald Omni. <laughs> I haven't heard. I'm, 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 I want that too, but no, I haven't heard. Speaking of Harley, I'm liking quite a few of the anniversary covers CC are doing for her. Dark Knight Returns Harley variant was cool. Your overview of the Rachel Pollock Doom Patrol Omni finally pushed me to read the Morrison run. Loved it so much that I immediately ordered the Rachel Pollock Omni. Cool. Oh, thank you, man. Couldn't Disney, power, money, make ROM omnibus possible? I mean, wouldn't that be pocket change for them? Uh, Larry, how do I answer this? Yes, I think so. I just think they hate dealing with lawyers. That's the issue. Yeah. It makes things less fun. Disney lawyers are busy fighting other things. Cheap, cheapest uncanny X... Oh, you meant uncanny X-Men. I'm sorry. I thought you meant X-Men. Adjectiveless X-Men. Uncanny 1 and 2 are out of print right now. Um, but honestly, they'll come back to print. I don't see them not coming back to print. Omar, this kid will email me, and I'll email you the information. Thank you, Bar. You went above and beyond. Any news on Saga 10 from Usagi and reprint of the hardcovers from Dark Horse? Nothing yet. Uh, but as soon as I find out something, I can start throwing some hints out there. Omar, Melanie, thank you for a little piece of showing Spectacular Spider-Man. I can't wait for its release. Uh, you are very welcome, dude. Yeah, it's one of my most anticipated books. The fact that I got rid of my Marvel Masterworks a long time ago, I was like, oh, well, I hope they do this one day. They bought Marvel and Lucasfilm just to avoid paying license fees. Yeah, and it's always a pain in the butt, especially like um, when IDW was doing Transformers and they had to reprint things with Spider-Man. Just read Dark Knights of Steel and Deceased for Halloween. Do you think we'll ever... I think Deceased will get an omnibus, by the way. Uh, which is what you're asking. And will they continue Dark Knights in hardcover Omni format? Yeah, Dark Knights will come out in standard size hardcover for sure. Adjectiveless X-Men by Claremont and Lee are out of print right now. It's amazing how a about January people were finding X-Men by Jim Lee and Claremont in um, at Ollie's. And I remember telling the people, like, you know, I mean, get it now, because a year from now, that's going to be out of print. And this is this is the cycle that it happens. There are books that I own that I remember buying for $26, $30 liquidated prices that are now freaking sought after. Will this reprint Battle Royale? This doesn't own the rights to Battle Royale. That was Tokyo Pop. So maybe one day. Love your shirts and thank you for these streams. Thank you, John. Any chances of Avengers Academy Omni? Gosh, I want that so bad. But we need an Avengers Initiative Omni first, and then an Avengers Academy. Uh, Arena and Underground, I'll take two, but those two. Is tonight's announcement it's one or two books? It's one reprint, Omnibus. And um, what Muhammad is referring to is the on Patreon. Oh, thank you, the baby. Five dollar tier, you get early access to announcement videos, and then you can talk about it amongst a lot of other things on the Discord. Um, so if you'd like to, to get that information ahead of time, uh, definitely check out the Patreon tier and see if anything meets your needs. We start at a dollar, then five, then seven dollars and 77 cents, which is the intimate tier. It's pretty much when I drink and they ask me anything. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and then the $10 tier is the recognition engagement. tier. That's what's, That's what's called, called engagement, engagement tier. <laughs> uh, and then the $25 tier, which is sold out currently is the one-on-ones, which I'll be doing something a little bit different next year. So. Um, Omar, <laughs> don't play the said, game of what I'm sending the kid. 
you said you sent the top 25 list to David. So Daredevil, Brubaker, Volume 2, New Avengers by Bendis and Eric Larson, Michelini, Spidey was in top 25. Oh. Also, I remember, I hold, don't know what he said. Hold on one second. Let me double check. And David said, we're pulling together a first full list for 2023. I'll see what I can do. I don't. The list I sent him. Yeah, it shows the 20. And I don't see. Maybe I snuck it in there. No, I showed it on. Uh, I'll, I'll double check my emails. Thank you, Jack Ferry. I meant volume four of New Mutants. It ain't good. Oh, okay. Oh, the new one? I haven't read it yet. Oh, please don't say that. Taylor wants an Omni for DCs, but he said it's waiting for his last series. Thank you for that. Yes. Dude, I've, I've enjoyed everything that man has written. He's, he's, he's a good writer. And a certain relative of mine keeps telling me days of, uh, the days of out of print Omnis are over. A certain Would that be uh, your daughter that has a table, uh, Larry? <laughs> what happened to the Red Sonja reprint still coming? And you can come back on the 20th to ask uh, Nick himself. He'll be on the channel, so you can ask him. Do you sign up for the Joe Jessica's Art of the 92 Marvel? Magic no, Pieces but I saw how well that was doing, man. That is insane. Like, some of those tiers are sold out already. And I love Jusco's uh, artwork. I've been wondering, as much as I love Batman, what is the oversaturation of bat books every time i'm in my local comic book store i see 50, 50 different bat books and the rest of dc gets minimal attention uh i i think part of that is of course is sales right like sales really push these people to get these books out but it's also the same story over and over in different formats that annoys people and I understand that. I've realized the importance of Dark Knight. I realized the importance of uh, one year or Batman year one, not one year, sorry. Uh, Scott Snyder's run and uh, Hush. I get it. But it seems like there's a, you know, so many different editions for the same story over and over. Where's the other stuff that we've been craving? So yeah, that goes back into the category of like, oh, there's just not enough people work in there uh and it's so much easier just to send the same files over and over again hey print this in this format print this in this format uh give us a hush absolute edition give us a hush deluxe edition so maybe one day maybe one day we'll get some other stuff but i think that that's the problem right there is that they're seeing sales and they're going to keep doing the same thing over and over um is there a problem with this we uh, what I mentioned earlier was just I wanted you to ask permission to give your oh yeah ask your mom and dad first I need permission to, uh, from them if you're you 12 in, years old um before giving contact info to bar that's it yeah uh, when will the twenty five dollar tier be back that's something I'm looking into uh soon so well I'll do like a legacy thing and then for anybody new I'll I'll start a new tier for them um yeah if the it's just a way to also utilize my time and i love doing them but um spending my time you know reading and, and editing and let me tell you a little something behind the scenes uh for anybody that watched my batman video the batman hush video i spent a total of what that video usually would take something along the lines of like without prep time without reading or anything but shooting the video takes about an hour 30 minutes to an hour really uh, editing the video takes about an hour and a half or something like that. I got that down. And then uploading the video, you know, 30 minutes or so. That video took me five hours because it kept coming back with a failure. These are things people don't tell, you know, talk about when you create content. Like, it's so frustrating. It keeps failing. Like, it's, I'm, it's out of my control. And it's one little segment. So I had to, like, figure out where that segment is that's giving it a codex error. And again, things behind the scenes like that you all never have to worry about. At the end of the day, you see a product and there's just so much crap that happens sometimes. And, you know, when you're a one man show, it really sucks because you're wanting to move on to something else and you got to move on to something else. You got to go on and read. You got to finish editing another video. You got to do and shoot another video, but you focus on this video trying to fix it. So it's things like that that like are the uh, things that sucks about making contact content. Yeah. 
Hey, by the way, Target is having a buy two, get one free uh, on their website. Sell on books starting Sunday. Get in while y'all can. And if you got that, was it Target Red? This video is not sponsored by Target Red. Credit card. Where's Greg Garlow? He, oh, yeah, where is Greg Garlow? Yeah, he was. I think he doesn't are your books that. insured? Yes, they are. I'm in another tier in my insurance company. Watch your language. You just said crap and sucks. Watch that link. I'm sorry. <laughs> what kind of camera do you use to film your channels? I use two. I use the Sony and I use a Panasonic 4K. The Sony is also a 4K. Uh, if you want me to, I was thinking, somebody on my Patreon asked to do some behind the scenes to show what kind of camera and mics I've been using. Um, and I need to do that. It's just a matter of actually taking the time to do that. I'm so, I'm sorry. My mind is so like focused on doing videos, you know, like, and on top of that, YouTube has been horrible this year when it comes to Google AdSense because they did away with it. So the money went down awful. Like it, it was bad. It got to the point where I was just like, I can't stress about this anymore. I got to move on. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that happens that, you know, I don't get to talk to anybody about because I don't have coworkers. I talked to Melanie, but she has her own issues at work. And by the time, you know, she comes and tells me stuff, I don't want to talk about the stuff that's happening here. That's stressful. And I told you to do it. Yeah. I know. You told well, me yesterday. Well, I was home yesterday <laughs> when that was happening with the video. What are your thoughts on JMS's writing? Have you seen Babylon 5? You know, I never did get around to finishing it all, but my gosh, he wrote all of it, all of Babylon 5. And he is. I thought somebody helped. Uh, he, four people, I think. He wrote all but like four or five episodes, and they were his friends. He just wanted them to come in and write. Did Gaiman write an episode or somebody? Peter David did, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. It, it, it might like have been that. Gaiman. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think. Um, I, I like his writing. I really enjoy his writing. I think he had Peter's voice down. I thought his Thor run was excellent. His supreme power was so good. Very underrated. His, uh, that's a hidden gem I need to talk about. I'll talk about it on my on my video. I'll keep that one a secret. Because I okay. really like Rising Stars. That's not a secret, sorry. Wait, uh... Rising Stars. <laughs> Omar, you finally insured your books. But, hey, Roberto Rodriguez, do you sell insurance? I could have gone through you. I could have gone you through you. <laughs> I'm going uh, to upgrade my camera and mic. I would love to see what you're using. Yeah, man, I don't mind. And I don't, I, I, and by the way, uh, if you're making content, it's not as easy as upgrading a camera, upgrading a microphone. There's so much that you're, you're not prepared for because you need color correction. You need audio. Like, I need an extra piece for my camera, to for my microphone to work. It's things like that that you have to learn and set time aside to, to you know, tweak. Oh, my gosh, the tweaking. Model? Oh, I don't. Uh, that is the Sony. Hold on. If you give me the. Uh, hey, BJ Kicks. Oh, the BJ Kicks in the house? Love that. Hey, man, I'm going to reach out to you early January. I got something on the channel I want uh, content creators for. Oh, it's not going to be for December. It'll be for December. But he, you're reaching out in early January. I said December. Oh, you said January. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Did I really say January? Yeah. And Mother... I'm not correcting you to be right. I just... just... <laughs> Okay, that, that is a different month. <laughs> Larry, are you still making content? And the camera that I use is a Sony Alpha 7 4. That's Roman numeral 4. It's the full frame mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. Oh my gosh. And let me let me tell you something when you buy stuff too. It's worth getting the insurance. Like a warranty. It's worth getting that uh warranty. Hi, Michael. Because let me tell you, man, another thing behind the scenes people don't tell you about. You could be doing something that you accidentally knock the camera over and break the lens. And you realize, I, you remember when I yelled, you heard me all the way upstairs. You came running down here. You said, what's wrong? That was a bad day. Yeah. Again. Wait, it was before we went to Heroes Con. It was Con, right, right before we went to Heroes Con. I broke it. Oh my gosh, man. And it was my fault. And but I ain't got no backwards. Yeah, I was well, I was taking up. I was backing up because I was taking a shot with the other camera of uh the books on the table. And it's I, honestly because there there isn't much room. Yeah, yeah, and you'd be surprised here. for the amount of room we have in this house. I want to hang up those lights. I need to talk to you. Anyway, uh a little behind the scenes of like, man. 
what's your day job besides YouTube? If you don't mind me asking, this is it, man. This is the day job. <laughs> I, I was, uh, I was, night job. <laughs> yeah, this job don't ever stop. I was telling Melanie, I realized I don't have a day off. I have uh, times off. I have like certain hours off that I set. And, but then, but then if I think I had a time and you know, I, I actually have some time to do things with my friends and my family, like my friends are getting away next weekend. I can't go. And I'll tell you why. Yeah. Remember what I said earlier about YouTube revenue being down in order for me to like not even be where I was last year. I have to have like two videos that perform pretty good in order for me to like even come between where I am now and where I was last year. It's things like that. You got to, you know, roll with the punches and I'm not complaining at all. I mean, this is what I do for a living and I, I read comics for a living. It's a blessing. But there's also some like man, this sucks moments. Like I can't go and hang out with my friends. I got to make sure my channel keeps going, you know? Will Maddie do more of her hidden gems videos? Great uh, to get suggestions from more people at NMC. I will ask her. Yeah. Yeah. And Maddie's my buddy. I know that you enjoyed it. Yeah. We could do a, a community hangout. I was uh, thinking about, I know you guys have a uh, different time zones, but you know what, man? What Omnibo, why don't you come and join me for the, I already have the March, marvel comics solicitations we usually do it on thursdays at 1 p.m and it'll be the last thursday oh this God. month oh wait no i can't do it isn't that thanksgiving the last thursday of the month yeah so when can i do that then let me let me look at the calendar okay both neil gaiman and peter david so it was neil gaiman uh wrote episodes of babylon 5 harlan ellison was involved as conceptual consultant you should check it out again i definitely will it's one of those things that i want to Anyway, shout out to BJ Kicks if he's still here. I love that dude. Hope everyone is having a good day. I'm stoked to finally see Namor on the big screen this week. Got to get an Imperious Rex. Yeah, man, me and uh, Amanda are going to be reviewing it on Friday here on the channel. You said January. Shut up, Josh. Why you got to agree with my wife? Why you gotta... Hey, Bert, how are you What's doing? What's up, buddy? Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's this Magnum Opus. That was a joke inside of Magnum Opus, his one more day. Here, let's get rid of that. How many books are my life? <laughs> I love this character. <laughs> but if you're interested in that story, there is a gallery edition that's coming out. Let's get there. You go. Thank you, Bert. And thank you to my that wonderful a... wife for taking care of the chat and keep an eye. And thank you to our moderators in the chat. Yes, thank you. Um, <laughs> what about the front cover of the oh, space heart? Yeah, cover? man, I got you. How are we doing, Lionheart? Uh, this is mature content, by the way. The crawl space book. This is a really That's fun, an awesome picture. This is a really fun collection. If you've not read it, I did a hidden gems on it last year. I'm seriously. Sean. Omar received seven hundred fifty dollars worth of pre orders today. I need to insure my, you, dude. You need to call me. I'll help you get insured. Mm, I'll help you insure those books. Sophia. Sophia. That That's is my friend. That's my girl. She can insure you. What's the benefit of a gallery edition? Just bigger format? Yeah, if you like artwork, that is the biggest format that Marvel puts out now. Ooh, Spider-Man Blue is getting one. Yeah. Yep, Spider-Man Blue, Spider-Man One More Day, and I might have, I might have hinted at a particular hunter that is getting his own gallery edition later on. Do, 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 I am the spider, do, 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 not Vampire Hunter D. Uh, there was a good question up there. Yeah, first King okay, Judge, my bad. What's up, King Judge? Because of your channel, I've now been creating my own Omni collection in a very much smaller scale. We that's all awesome. we all start somewhere, my brother. So you keep as long as you're enjoying them and reading them, that's what matters, man. I don't care what your collection looks like. You know, people send me pictures of their collection, and they're like, I know it's not as big as yours, or I know it's not as fancy as yours. I mean, I don't care. I love looking at it people's collections is so cool because everybody has different tastes and things sometimes i remember this one guy was like oh, i just have one shelf it's not that big and i look at his shelf and i'm like yeah but look at the stuff you have man there's so many good books here dude i don't think people realize you know how to me a library i have a lot of stuff and because i have a youtube channel too but i like looking at other people's collection and see what kind of books they enjoy I don't ever see any Wolverine origin by Daniel Way, though. Deflex one, thanks again for the super. Oh, chat. thank you, man. Some statue content. I don't do statues. I sold all my statues. That ain't my life, man. Uh, but there are plenty of channels that do statue contents out there. Uh, joking, kind of at, kind of. 
Ask Mel Some first. Person. Okay, I'll ask Melanie. No. But you ever thought of getting into statues right like Prime? Melanie. Huh? What was the only statue that I came close to buying? And then I said I can't because I'll buy every single one of them in that line if they come out. Guts? That's right. I came so close to buying <laughs> ber Berserk. Well, why am I thinking like bookends? Were they bookends? Oh, uh, no. I also wanted the bookends. And I'm like, eh, oh, okay. I'll so pass. there's two separate things. Now those bookends are going like... for a lot of money. So I, I got out of the statue game before I even started this, uh, the YouTube channel because I was like, I like reading more. So I'm going to focus on. On just reading and sell my statues and the money of that can but go towards reading. You got figures. But I love action figures. figures. I still get those because that reminds me of my childhood. But what I was going to say is that I came so close to getting guts, man. You have no idea. <laughs> what was your finger like on it? The was, I added it to the cart. And, <laughs> okay. I, and I say, here's my credit card number. And then I said, no, I can't. Because I have a problem yeah, yeah. where if I get one, then I'm gonna have to get Griffin. Then I'm gonna have to get Casca. Then I have to. Then I have to get Jodo. Uh, what's his name? Judo. 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 <laughs> Judo. Ju <laughs> ju ju what's the, and and then and then the little witch. And, and if they make the old lady witch, I'll make get her too. Then they make. <laughs> I the, don't think they make. I'll even get annoying at annoying butts puck. I'll get them all. And then they make the god hand. And then they make oh, femto. Yeah, really uh, but you've got the figures. I'll get Pippin. I'll get Corcus. And before I know it, I'm living with the entire band of the Hawk and my wife left me. So I can't. I can't, man. It'd be nice. Oh, man. And then Zod. Oh, that would be a great statue. And Nosferatu it Zod exists, with though, the wing. Right? Yeah, yeah it exists. exists yeah. Uh, and then I'll get the variant of Guts with, like, blood. Marvel Legends. I I had Lydia get you for Christmas. Alicia. Oh, it was Alicia. I was like, you get this for Poppy. Because I really didn't believe you when you say, then I'll have to get everything and you have gotten everything um so yeah could be marvel legends content and this what you just talked about uh connects with michael's question about do you ever go through periods when you question why you collect or go mm -hmm. through periods where you can't be bothered reading but still collect just for the sake of collecting runs that's a good question not anymore really because i thought the um reading is just a part of my life like i've all i've, I've, I've read every day i never go through a period where i'm like well i should stop reading I, I don't know. I've always been like that, or I should stop collecting. Nowadays, I think it's more like video games. Uh, I do that with video games. Um, video games are, I still get from time to time. Like, I just collect Switch. I don't have a PS5 or an Xbox. I don't even know what the Xbox is. Xbox X, maybe? Uh, Whatever it is, the new series. <laughs> I don't have them because I realized about five years ago, I just don't have the time. I, I'm jealous of my friends that play JRPGs because JRPGs was like life to me, man. Like Final Fantasy VI, best game. That and Secret of Mana and Chrono Trigger, that, that was my life when I was a kid. Nowadays, I can't even imagine devoting 60 hours to a game. I do play like video games from time to time, though, like Spirit Fair. If you've not played, that's beautiful, wonderful, wonderful book. Um, or not book, video game. Um, I played uh, Axiom Verge 2. That was fun. But so, what was the question? Oh my gosh! Sometimes I just go rambling and rambling. I don't even know what the That's heck I'm answering. Too. Um. Oh, about do you ever stop? Yeah. So I did that with video games. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did that with video games. So I only get like some video games, and I don't. I don't get hardly any JRPGs unless the guy they released the children of, or child. Uh, yeah, children of Mana remake, and they did like a Secret of Mana collection a couple of years ago. Hello, Omar. You got, people. Like, three editions of Final Fantasy. <laughs> you have it signed by Riku, right? Yeah. Um. Alex, it does come out in January. Yeah, I believe it comes. It's been, but things are constantly changing. It might push it up to December. Um, yeah, she yeah, knows that Vampire Hunter D, baby. That's what I walked down the aisle to in our wedding. Yeah, she did. <laughs> it's so romantic. A new school. If your wife left you, you'd have more room yeah, for right, statues. I'll show that one too. <laughs> um, my Spoolie online persona is derived from Spoo, an alien food from Babylon 5 and Constant Element that JMS would sneak into the show. So you wrote for. Don't tell anyone our secret. <gasps> I read it out loud. That's cool. Uh, there, wait. No, I thought, why, wait why, what is it? We have the same problem, Omar. And I now own multiple Messenger. Dude, Messenger was life when I was a kid. Jumbo figures because those were this from the same series. So I had to complete the series, right? Same with figures coming out later. Dude, I get the... I get the oh what are they called the the the, the diecast ones because those were the ones that I would see in the open market in Peru and when I was a kid I think I told you all I, I wasn't a good kid always I was I wasn't always a good person and 
you know, I, I think I, I mentioned it before. I, got, I get a little personal sometimes, but, you know, I don't mind sharing things like that. Uh, I, I've, uh, I've had to do community service because I got arrested. Uh, but even as a little kid, I was stealing things and I got caught <gasps> you stealing. You lied? No, we don't talk about that. You lied? We don't talk about That's different. That's not community service. For... You lied. That was for com- confirmation. Stop talking about that. Anyway, my prop, my, my, so when I was a little kid, I got caught taking one of those. And it's the, oh, Solo Chogokin ones. And it reminded me of the ones that I could never afford as a kid. Yeah. Bar is giving us, thank you, super sticker. I don't know, what does that mean? <laughs> She's writing it Hebrew. So here, here's the other Harley Quinn. The other one's cute and this one's kind oh, of. Oh, I better say Omar's dramatic. handsome. Yes. Hey, um, oh, I've forgotten his name already or, or her, uh, could translate for us. Jack Ferry, thank you. What are Alicia and Lydia's fave comic book characters? Well, Lydia, right now it's Swindle <laughs> from Transformers. <laughs> IDW. Tra- Transformers. Alicia yeah. likes a lot of the Pokemon uh, manga, but she but, also likes Peter Parker. I'm sorry, Peter Palmer. Palmer. Um, no, any uh, d- dog man. Oh, we love reading Dogman together. Uh, and of course, oh, what's the kid's name? The cat's kid's name. Uh, man, those are such good comics. I love Dogman. Dogman? Yeah. Is it stuck? What? Uh, so, yeah. Did you? I looked, Bar. Did you say something in English? Like, what's up, Michael it, Emin? Um. Oh, my gosh. During the pandemic, I realized I was some telecommuting for 515 straight days i had little desire to play most of my game collection and started selling many of them off last year 550 golly yeah that's a hey freddie what's up freddie how are you dude hi hannah yeah i packed myself a bad boy <laughs> <laughs> i did <laughs> but you don't have oh, okay okay string us uh kids see my email the chat so i want him to see it on screen okay. oh oh well uh mm. I don't know which one it was. Well, you're going all over the place with this chat. Up and down. How are you not getting car sick? Is that it? Why am I yelling? Here. Is that it? Omar would risk it all for a life-size big bar to statue. <laughs> life-size? Oh, my gosh. How much would that cost? Is it like one of the Japanese like... robot ladies? Maybe. I remember I remember this dude. Like He, he had a... He's a comedian. And he was talking about the, the Japanese robot ladies. He said, man, why are you stupid? Why would you spend money on that? And then you see one that comes out looking all thick. And he was like, <laughs> getting his cash out. <laughs> Chico Malo. Really appreciate the time you took the Miracle Man Omni review. I didn't know I wanted it until I saw that legend. Thanks, buddy. I love that book. And I feel like, you know, yes, it's outdated. And there have been other stories done better since then. But there is a certain history behind that book that I think you know, needs to be talked about. Do I need to read Phase 1 Transformers before reading Phase 2? I know the answer. What's the answer, Melanie? You don't have to, but it'll make you appreciate Phase 2 better. Mm-hmm. At least read All Hell Megatron, Last Stand of the Wreckers, and the, uh, what is it, the Transformers ongoing series t- towards the end, which leads into the final war. Better late than never. What's up, Sato? How are you, brother? And you did start putting up your Transformers last night, Lydia, so mm-hmm. you could film it when you're done. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What's coming out on the channel this week? Because we have two more minutes. Oh, uh, let's see. Tomorrow will be uh, a breaking news announcement about a Marvel on this reprint uh, or tonight on Patreon. And then a overview of some Dark Horse trade paperbacks. Monday will be Weapon or Wolverine Omnibus Volume 2, um, as well as one of the hardcovers, the Incal, I believe. And then... Tuesday will be the Marvel Trades, Old Reader, New Reader at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday will be Absolute Dark Knight, and I believe that's also when I'm going to do the Flash Omnibus, or I may do that on Thursday. And then I'm going to try to do Hidden Gems, or not not Hidden Gems, I'm sorry. Uh, My favorite top 15 best Spider-Man stories in collected editions, because I know people have been asking me to bring those back. What's up, Joe Cool? How are you, brother? Y'all just coming in here late, acting like you've been here the whole time. <laughs> Life size bar to statue, hubba hubba hub. Dude, <laughs> Thank right? you, Jeff. Uh, yeah. Right? 
That's all I'm saying, dude. That's all I'm saying. Woo. What are we talking about? Last stand of the Wreckers was a highway of emotions. That was awesome, brother. Michael Emmon, Transformers, more than meets the eyes. But man, they're hard on the nose. P.U., Michael Emmon, everybody. <laughs> I love that dude. Hey, Omar, did you pre- Okay. Where are you going with this? Bar sent the super sticker again. However, I, I did show something for a while, but I don't know if it's your email address. Um. Because it's in Hebrew. <laughs> I'm following like, Bar's this, conversation on. Is on, this it? Uh, Let me know if that's it. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Pook. What's no, up? No, no, what, what? What? I don't know what you're going. What? I was leaving the email address up. Okay. Okay. Dude. Look, yeah, Bart, let me know if I that's can't, it. I can't. I can't keep up. Can we expect a tour of Western collections among and crafter? Uh, yes, <laughs> the craft room. No, not my craft room. Uh, not. the like, yeah. yes, <laughs> that will come in December. Manga, maybe January. Hey, Omar Melanie, I'm late to the stream. Have I missed the Alpha Omnibus announcements? Yes. Oh, and James said if you bought the Alpha Net Good, would that mean you have to collect all the rest of the Alpha stuff? <laughs> no, James. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting volume two. I know you're cracked that open. Can't wait for that. I love those stories in that. That's that's e that is X Factor Investigations one. Some of us have definitely been here the whole time and absolutely did not leave to cook then come back. <laughs> so long as you smash that like button, Hayden. Uh, will there be more announcements during the week? Probably not this week. Probably next week. Marvel Age Omni seems like a different as a or seems a little different as a choice. Any background on this release? It's a historical piece that a lot of people, um, you know, appreciate. It's not for everybody. It's definitely behind the scenes of the different times. But the important thing about it to me was I asked, is everything going to be in there? Because some of you all probably know Marvel H had like G.I. Joe on the cover. It had Transformers on the cover. It had Micronauts on the cover. It had Micronauts articles. And David said, I was told everything is going to be allowed in here. So that's freaking awesome if everything. That means that's going to be a big omnibus if it's the first 30 something issues. Um, um but he, I mean it's definitely I'm sorry, it's it's definitely behind the scenes. It's not for everybody, right? What's what's up, Ipsy? Ipsy has a good idea about tips on saving space in my collection because you're really good at that. Oh, like how to arrange things for more uh utilize space more efficiently. Apparently, getting your your wife and moving in a bunch of berserk statues is tip number one. <laughs> uh will we get epic announcements every month now or are still every four months? Whatever they're what whatever uh Marvel and whatever Marvel can give me, I will take. So right now we're looking at every month. Maybe we'll know. go back to every three months. So whatever they decide. Uh, Omar, what about collaborations like Amanda and Maddie? Do you know them before you started your channel? I do. What about your collaborators? Yeah. Yeah. Amanda is my cousin and Maddie is my friend. And absolutely. Uh, when I thought of the channel, I thought, oh, I think it'd be really cool to read comics. That's how we started Old Reader, New Reader, uh, which I want to go back to once a month. I need to talk to Maddie about that, but she's been a little under the weather. Um, Bart, it must be blocking it. Yeah. It, it yeah, can good. somebody un? I don't know if they even can. If somebody can unblock, well, 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 no. Here, here, here's how you do. Instead of writing at, write a t bar, and that's how it keeps it unblocked. And instead of putting the dot, write d o t. We're Star Wars volume volume two. I don't know, man. I don't know. I am not giving any hints for what's it related. I promise. I won't. I, I suck at those. Especially if it's just one book. If I had like a lineup of books, I would give you some hints, of course. Um, no. Yeah, they're just not coming through. Okay, so that, well, well, that means that YouTube email, is blocking it. Yeah, just so email us. Or just uh, have the kid email us. I don't oh, know if the kid will understand. Student. Oh. Well, then have the kid email us. YouTube chat doesn't like links. No, it doesn't. It automatic. And yeah, I don't ever, for people wondering, like on my videos, I don't ever like delete any comments. I I leave the, you all know me, I leave the stupidest comments there. And I don't mean stupid, like asking stupid questions or anything, because there's no such thing. I mean, stupid comments. Like, I can't believe you're talking about this book. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I don't even reply to those people anymore. But uh, YouTube will remove things automatically 
So if, if you ever see one of your comments for some reason has been deleted, it wasn't me. YouTube will delete it for some reason. We need an inhuman Omni for poor Geo's sake. No, man, he's getting a Wonder Man. Did you get any news about a possible Spider-Man Back in Black collection? It's been a long time since the last time Marvel printed it. I haven't. I have not. I'm sorry. Thank you for the super Thank chat. you, Sato. So somebody was asking me about that, and they said it was in the top 25, which I sent over to David. So there's a chance. Let me get the back to see. And Jack Ferry. What's Jack Ferry saying? Um, thank you. Does Disney have enough to buy all Micronauts rights? <sighs> this is an intense question. Oh, that's intense. My dude guts. I think, of course, it's Disney. They wanted to, they could, but that's a Hasbro license. In order to get that, because it used to belong to Kenner, so in order to get that, you would it would have to be some kind of bundle deal with Mask and ROM, Action Man, things like that, that Marvel maybe not even having anything to do with i miss omar fighting people in the comments but i'm happy for your mental health yeah hey, i got i got i gotta give a shout out to hip-hop he's the one that hip-hop happens uh, i don't know if he's watching uh but he's the one that was like hey man i think you're really funny like i so what i used to do was anybody that was arguing with me and not arguing about like there are people that you know correct me and i don't i i I've been reading comics for 35 plus years and I still need to be corrected about things. I still need to learn because if you act like, you know, everything, then how are you, you know, how else are you supposed to learn anything new? Uh, so in my comments, though, I do get stupid comments, mainly if it's something dumb and out of the blue, like sexist or racist or homophobic that uh, or just arguing for the sake of arguing. And I would what I would do is I would pin it. And I would come in and get smart with people. But I remember hip-hop was like, hey, man, I think you're really funny. But here's the thing, dude. If you just let go of those comments, you'll live a better life. Like, you know, there's going to be negative people everywhere. And as long as, you know, they're not actually offending you or anybody else, just let them complain. And I do. And and I've, I've lived by that. So I don't, I don't, I don't reply. I don't pin comments anymore. I do miss getting smart with some people whenever a comment comes by, and I'm like, ah, and I'm like, not today, devil, not today. So, <laughs> big shout out to him for that suggestion, and it's been nice. And honestly, I just don't have the time to. I don't even have the time to freaking go on social media and reply back to people. I've been uh, Taylor's been doing a great job of that. Um, he's been taking over social media, and I, I still try to get try to get back to people on email once or twice a, a week. So. So, oh, um, new spooky chat. Thanks for asking. I'm going to start reading Wonder Woman issues one through 14 by George Perez for our you. uh book club, the $7.77 cent tier on Patreon. So, if you're interested in joining that, um, I think tomorrow I'll post whatever time of date wins the poll, uh, for when we'll virtually meet to talk about it. And I know Hannah's really excited. Um, and if you're Never read George Paytas's Wonder Woman. Get ready for some heavy reading. Like, read an issue a day if you need to. I'm talking heavy dialogue, heavy narrative, and give yourself some time to read it if you've never read it. Okay. Especially if you're reading the first Thanks 14 issues. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, just because I remember, I love it. I, I think it's great, it's and it's written it. wonderful. But I, for people that aren't ready for it, yeah, there's a lot of reading. Hmm, there you go. Now Bar's got it. I've seen a lot. <laughs> what characters that have never had their own <sighs> Omnis would you like to see get their first Omni? Darkhawk. Sleepwalker. Rogue. Gambit. Nightwing's already had an Omni, but that's okay. Superboy. Supergirl. Supergirl by Peter David. Young Justice. I'm cheating. Old reader, new reader, Marvel. That's how I'll come back. We'll read Marvel and then uh, Trouble. Omar, be honest, when will we get an Iron Man Omnibus Volume 3? I don't know. That's the Catholic Omar coming out. I don't know, man. For real. <laughs> Kang, Kang the Conqueror. There's another one i like to see. Pedas WW is so good. All Absolutely. Right, so how many more questions? How many more questions? Let's do, let's do, uh, what is it called? Fast round? What is it called? Speed round? What's it called? Yeah, speed round. Sure. Speed round. Let's do it. Five, five questions. Five easy questions. 
Is Absolute Dark Knights Death Metal and the Dark Knights Metal Omnibus or donate to you both? Death Metal is not. That's the follow up. Okay. Is Perez Wonder Woman better than Lee Kirby X Men? Oh That's my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 100%. Yes. Yes. It's good reading. Just because it's heavy reading doesn't mean that it's bad, by the way. Um, Thundercats. This person was asked, where is it earlier? If there's enough. Material? material there was a collection done by uh was it wildstorm and those are out of print right now i hope that one day dc realizes they own the rights to the stuff that they can reprint it one day yeah lightning round thank you no bard thank you too so much you're but welcome favorite space night uh romulus <laughs> rom of course rom uh, Great! One day we'll get an omnibus of that. We'll call it the some, Romnibus. There's some uh, good, the good silly questions, but this is the fifth one. Best Kamala run. G. Willow Wilson, 100. percent Her creator, her co-creator. I'm sorry, Omar. If I offered you to write X Men, would you be afraid that making your fan? Yeah, X Men is a question that, like, I get that a lot. Like, would I write X Men? I would be so afraid to write X Men because I would let the fan. I mean, it would be like me writing myself into the comic and drinking with Wolverine. I've seen a lot less negative comments from the comics community than I do in the tech community. Not that I'm bar though, dude. Thank Marvel Bad, so how are you, buddy? Sorry, it's just it's saying a, hi. Yeah, yeah. Y'all friends. Um, the thank you guys so much for joining us and um, member, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and. Uh, check out CheapGraphicNovels.com. They're here in the U.S. If you've never ordered from them, tell them the Urban Condition sent you their way for a free promotional credit of free shipping on your next order after your first one. So take advantage of that. Uh, the next AMA, I'm putting up a we poll put, yeah, this weekend so we can decide. That's the Ask Me Anything where we drink, have a lot of fun, and people do ask me things. And that's usually where I throw out some hints when I'm drinking a lot. It's a lot of fun, though. So that's part of the page. It's definitely page. mature theme, so please do not be a kid and watch that. So, as always, stay minty. Bye, everybody.